We have our new best friend, the Zebra Stat here. Uh, I have a another Goodman GPH 14 instead of a three and a half ton. This is a two ton, and this is actually on my schedule to have the coil changed because it was leaking too. I was actually going to do it at the end of this week, but the home intercom said it wasn't cooling still. And I'm, I had uh, checked the refrigerant a few days ago, and it was actually fine. So I'll be kind of curious what's happened here. My first guess is going to be right there. The X13 motor has failed. I'm not sure if that's going to be the cause or not, but I have Zebrastat hooked up here. First thing I'm going to do is check the fan motor operation and the heat strip operation because I told them to put it into emergency heat uh, whenever they had said it wasn't cooling. So the heat strips aren't on, obviously there would be a problem. If the fan didn't come on, they would overload and trip out. So let's take a look. Let's get some power on here and see what's going on. Our power is on. We're ready to activate. The first thing I'm going to activate is the fan motor, and we'll see real quick whether or not we have a bad ECM motor or not. That's where my money was on, but I don't know yet. Let's see. All right. Here she goes. We have our fan on. It's running at fan speed. There's our amp clamp. See if the heat strips come on. I'm going to hit heat strip wire. See what happens. This is the sequencer, so we'll give it a second. see what's going on. They have no heat strips. This is our heater compartment down here. It's a 5kW heater. And right down here, when I tested the low voltage, I had 24 volts to this sequencer, but it wasn't closing. I tested from one side of the high voltage on top to the other side, and we had 230 volts, meaning the switch is open. I'm going to go ahead and replace this sequencer and see if that solves our problem here because the sequencer is not closing when it's supposed to. This is our new sequencer. You see the bronze colored stuff at the bottom, the terminals. Those are low voltage terminals on either side. One will be common, one will be either your auxiliary or emergency heat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, low voltage wire. Uh, usually it's, on this particular unit, it's white and the common is blue. But that'll be different from unit to unit. On top, you have M1, M2. That's your high voltage line coming in. And then the line coming out whenever the switch closes the heat strips uh, electricity flows to the heat strips resistance builds up heat and that's how you have heating I'm gonna go ahead and put this bad boy in there and hopefully we'll be happy camp. we have our bad relay out it's kind of rough looks like I got some uh, rust on it from water condensing on that panel I'd have aided its destruction and we have the fan and heat one on I just see and is running just fine, so my first guess was wrong. And we do have 19 amps now flowing through the heater, which means the heat strips are on, which is the reason why this thing wasn't heating enough, because on days like last night when it was 25 degrees or a little bit less outside here, the, the heat pump alone is not going to cut it. It just doesn't have enough uh, BTU output at that temperature. Uh, this is a two-ton machine, just probably putting out like a ton or a little bit less than a ton of heat at that temperature so it, it needs the heat strips to keep up but uh they just weren't there so that's the mystery solved on this one we'll put everything back together and i'll start the whole unit to make sure everything else is coming on but i think we're all squared away now another victory for the zebra stick